Hello everyone, I am Ati Monster, and welcome back to Kindergarten 2. So last time, we kind of took care of a couple things with Felix and Teddy. You see, we helped both of them take each other out. Different times, because the mission had alternative end and an alternative ending, but we still took them both out. You could really see Felix's true colors and the way he really felt about poor Teddy. Even after Teddy did end up killing Felix, and Nugget beat the crap out of Felix, he really felt bad for him, like he really just wanted his brother to love him, but it's not how it was. So something that took me till now to realize is that, see how the cane's not able needs to be completed to get to Breaking Sad? Well, the Nugget mission also needs to be completed to get to Breaking Sad. So that means we need these two items. I didn't realize that before. So same for this one right here, the Nugget mission, oh. So it looks like I'm gonna need the A+, the Matsuman Pushy, and then the device for Carla. So, now I know to use those things, so that makes things a lot easier. All right, I forgot to mention, we're doing the things that go boom mission. Start the mission by giving Carla the laser module. All right, let's do that. And I think I'm gonna stick with the blue suit for now. You know, I think I really like this one. Hey Carla, I hear you want this little laser thing. What the? No way, where did you get that? How did you get it? This is incredible, with this I can finally, finally what? Kid? Clear your schedule. We've got a lot of work to do. What are you talking about? With this laser module and with the other principal kids transferring, I can finally go through with my little project. Which is, you see, I'm pretty good about getting around this school. I got keys, secret passages, and I know how to tangle with Stevie. Okay. One problem I've never been able to solve is getting a passage from the teacher's lounge to the janitor's closet. How does this laser help? On its own, it doesn't. But I heard about the stuff that went on at your other school. There was a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, heh, <laughs> that place was a train wreck. I'm talking about the little pocket bombs that you listen to your conversations. Oh yeah, those sucked. I need one, and you're gonna get it for me. You're friends with the crying kid over there, right? Not really. Well, you're gonna be. Find a tissue or something. Maybe you can cheer him up, and he'll give you one of those devices. I know where to get a tissue. From Cindy. This new school is so much more my style, especially the new selection of boys. What do you think? I thought we were together. Sorry, honey, but we're yesterday's news. Besides, we both know I'm too good for you anyways. Ouch. Here's a tissue. Cry me a river. Now, are you gonna help me get a new boyfriend? I've got better things to do. Yeah, like cheer and Jeroma. Go away, kid. I don't want to talk about it. You look like you could use this. Thanks, man. I can't believe they made me come to school today. Why? What's wrong? I'm not gonna tell- You know what? What's the difference? Do you know why we're at this school instead of our old one? Um, yes. You do? How did you find out? I only know because I found the body... parts. Should I say I'm the one who did it? Hmm... I'm gonna leave away from that. I'm gonna stay away from that. Maybe I'll try that later. Um, it was on the news. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. So you know I have to do then, right? Find a foster family? I have a mom, jeez. I have to take vengeance on who this, did this to my family. And who do you think did this? Lily, obviously. She was obsessed with my dad. It had to be her. She's not even here. That's what you think. I know she's here. I can feel it. Can you help me find her? Please, I need justice. We know she's here because Nugget said so, so... Sure, I guess I can help you. Thank you. Now we just need a lead of some sort. Talk to Nugget. He was close to Billy and he has a crush on Lily. Maybe he knows. Okay then. Help! Nugget is trapped! Do you know where Lily is? Nugget does not feel like answering your questions right now. Get Nugget out of here! Alright. So, are you best friends with the crybaby over there? He wants to find Lily. Hmm. She was the girl that whose brother went missing, right? Interesting. You know, I did see two kids sneak into the crawl space under the school. Ooh, could that be them? It wouldn't surprise me since that Nugget kid caved in my secret passage this morning. We need another way to get down there. What are options? I say we go through the grave. Here's the screwdriver. Let the Nugget kid out. I'll distract Bob so he doesn't notice it's open. Why don't we just let Bob do it? Because Bob will put the grape back on. We need it off. We're going to get down there. Okay, then. Is help coming for poor Nugget? I'm going to get you out of there. Nugget is free. Thank you for freeing Nugget. No problem. Nice job, kid. So this is Nugget, huh? It is. Yes, Nugget is Nugget. Who is the ponytail girl? I'm Carla. Say, you wouldn't have happened to see anyone down there, did you? Perhaps some kids in hoodies? Uh, Nugget is not supposed to say. Only those with the secret stuffed creature may know. Right. The secret. I've heard enough. Meet me in the smart class. We've got work to do. Will do. Good, you're here. We need to get down the crawl space to confirm that girl is here. How do we get there? Why do you think I had you open the grate? Oh yeah, it'll be easy enough. Here's the key to the door that will lead you to the handicap ramp. 
Let's go take our assessment so Dana will let us out. You coming with me? I'm only following you downstairs. And I'll, I'll make sure Stevie doesn't stop you from using that key. Got it. Um, what do I want to take this time? Toilet paper again. We'll keep switching it off. Spray, toilet paper, spray, and we'll do toilet paper again. There you go. Enjoy your prize. Now go do a smart children thing. All right. Okay, let's go. Dana probably won't stop us now. Okay. And where do you two think you're going? The bathroom. Together? No. Okay, just don't cause any trouble. Okay, that's easy enough. Hey, the boys' room is downstairs. He can go down, but you can't. Relax, man. The student handbook says I'm allowed to assist a new student finding the bathroom. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Thanks. My pleasure. Get the little layout, dude, just saying. Well, that guy's dumb, but Stevie isn't. Once he sees us, he'll make me go back upstairs. Then what? While he's doing that, use the key to get out before he comes back. Got it. You need to be back in class before the bell rings. I'll make another distraction for you so Stevie doesn't see you coming in from outside. Just don't be late. I won't be. Good, let's go then. Hey, Carla, you're not supposed to be downstairs. The girls' bathroom is upstairs. The other hall monitor should have stopped you. Oh, that's right. Silly me. Maybe you should walk me there so to make sure I don't make any more mistakes. Don't play dumb with me. Come on, let's take you back upstairs. Okay, gotta go quick. Unlock the door, head outside. Here's a side from before, I never could figure out what it did. What? Did I just break the game? Hello? Game? Game? I think I broke it. Alright, so this time I'm not gonna go anywhere near there. Alright, gotta get in through the grate. Well, oh, it's so weird, it's so empty out here. It's odd, let's head through the grate. Whoa. I've never actually been able to explore down here. This box looks interesting. I think I can hear something inside. Squeak the plushie? That's the signal! What? It's safe to come out. Finally! I feel like we've been waiting there for hours. Who are you guys? <gasps> oh yeah, we should probably tell you that. It's Billy and Lily! It's us, Lily and Billy. We've been spying on this new school and we discovered a lot. Do you want to hear about it? Sure! Well, it turns out the three kids who were rezoned to another school weren't actually rezoned. They are here. They're deep under the school. The elevator has a secret eye scanner that gives you access to go way underground. I think they're using them for experiments like they did with me. We have to help them. What do you need? Our original plan was to tunnel down to digging equipment, but that might take too long. Our other option is to get past that eye scanner. How do we do that? By getting Penny down here. She's a robot, which means she can be controlled. The teachers get those little remotes that control her. This is like all happening so fast right now, what the heck? Which is also why the lights go out and the kids get sent to the principal's office. It's a voice activated and calls Penny to take out the kid who's misbehaving. Right, so we need to get the remote. Can you get it for us? If not, we'll have to start digging. We'll have to mention now, drama's after Lily. Me? Oh, I guess he blames you for what happens to his dad. Yep, I guess we should have seen this coming, Billy. What's the big deal? He can't get to us, he doesn't even know we're here. We can't risk it. I have to confront him. He has to know the truth about his father. <laughs> Head back upstairs and tell Drone to meet me in the girls' bathroom. Knock on the first stall twice. Okay. You should get back to class before the bell rings. You don't want to get to study hall. Good idea. I don't even know if I did anything right. I seriously don't. I am so confused right now. <laughs> I guess I'm going back to class. This was just crazy right now. Hey Stevie, is my friend still in the... Unacceptable, Carla. I'm giving you study hall. You're so you're not supposed to be down here. Come on, man. I'm just checking on my friend. He's fine. See? Now go back upstairs before I send you to the principal's office. Okay, fine. Jeez. And you. You've had long enough for your bathroom break. Back upstairs. Now. Okay, relax. Good, you're back. I'll take that key. So what's the deal? Are those kids down there? Can we get Jerome to them? They'll be in the girls' bathroom. Good, let's tell the crybaby the good news. Let's go. Did you find out anything about Lily? Do you know where she is? She'll be in the bathroom during lunch. So she is here, I knew it. I'm gonna get her for what she did. Thanks, kid. I have a plan to get you there. We'll talk during lunch. 
I need to get upstairs to that bathroom. I got some extra burgers like you asked. What are they for? Stevie got a little extra irritated with me today, and now I have study hall. I'm not going to the principal's office for all this, so what can we do? We're going to start a food fight. It'll draw on the monitors, and it'll give you a chance to leave. We just need someone big and dumb enough to start it. Sounds good. Okay, then you just need to find someone who's willing to start it. Once it starts, there should be enough chaos for you to get out of here. Got it. One more thing. While you're upstairs, get into the science class and change the lesson plan to robotics. I'm going to need some of that stuff to finish our little project. Got it. Hey, Bugs. I need you to do something. Burgers are okay, but I actually kind of miss the slop. Want to start a food fight? <laughs> yeah, I do. This place could use a little redecorating. So could Nugget's face. Let's do it. Easy there, kid. I'm not starting a fight without proper ammunition. You want more food? Yep, bring me more burgers, and we'll kick off this food fight right now. All right, you can have mine. How many do you need now? One more should do. Go get one. Hurry up. Okay, well, I guess I gotta buy one. Got that burger for me? Here you go. Then let's go get the show on the road. Hey, Nugget! Nugget does not wish to speak to. Catch! Yeet! Nugget does not like burgers. Hey, Fatso, watch it. You almost hit me with that grease ball. Oh, my mistake. I'll make sure to hit you this time. Oh, <laughs> Oof, hey, that was rude. Come on, weird kid, we don't have to put up with this. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Nugget had never considered throwing food back at the nasty bully. Nugget normally would just poison his enemy, but Nugget can make an exception this time. Ugh, what the heck? I don't want to get involved in your stupid... Food fight! Unacceptable, this will not stand in my cavity. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, perhaps I should get my sister. Oh my gosh, what is the janitor doing? Oh my gosh, janitor, are you okay? You rotten kids, this place is gonna take forever to clean up. Someone's gonna die for this. It's not gonna be me. Oh my gosh, I've never seen the janitor so angry. Oh my gosh, he's like throwing it out here. Okay, let's get into the girl's bathroom. This is the stall Lily said she would be in. Knock on the stall. Hello, Jerome. Lily. You. You. You killed my dad! Now I'm gonna do what I should have done. I'm gonna stop you and your crazy conspiracy theories. Jerome, wait! I can explain everything! Liar! I know where Bill- She's not lying. What? Of course she's lying. She's just trying to save herself. Jerome, did you ever stop to consider why your dad had explosives and why they blow up when you mentioned my brother? Shut up! I'm sure there was a good reason. It's because you're an unstable. He knew you were after him. Yeah? Because he had kidnapped my brother and turned him into a monster. That makes the pills. That does sound crazy. You were there. You tell him. It's all true. It is true. Wait. You were there? You saw everything? She's telling the truth? Yep. I gotta stop yelling and lose my voice again. Then my dad, he was just... Oh, jeez. I think we're gonna be sick. I'm sorry, Jerome. Thanks for helping me clear things up with him. I'll see you soon. Bye, Lily. Okay, we have a problem. Penny's coming up the stairs. I think she knows where I am. We need to get out of here, now. What do we do? There's gotta be another way out of here. Help me find it or else we're all dead. Okay, I know the way out. Is it, is it an vent? Let's unscrew it. That's perfect. Come on, guys, we gotta go. Let's follow Lily. We should be safe here. She won't be looking for long. What now? I'm gonna be head back to Billy. We still have a lot of work to do. I'm sure there's something we, you can do in here to wait out the time before recess. Okay, good luck. And Jerome, I'm so sorry. All right, I know what we gotta do. We gotta change the lesson plan to robotics. Change it to robotics. What the? Oh no, oh boy. How did you get into my science classroom? Explain yourselves. We snuck through the vent. Oh, that's rather clever. Not clever enough to avoid study hall, but still clever. Oh man. Wow, I've never seen so many people in study hall. Look at all the bad children today. My word, there are a lot of you. To make matters worse, oh, I didn't get my coffee. No one move or talk, just, oh, just be quiet. I'm just gonna close my eyes real quick. He's asleep. Okay then. Did you work through your issues with Jerome? I guess I did, but I'm still pro I'm still processing it all, but I feel a little better. Good. So you're okay with parting with that little device of yours? Oh, I already did. I think I left it in the bathroom floor upstairs. Great. Okay, kid. 
Let's go up and grab it then. What about Danner? What about him? Guy didn't get his coffee today. He'll sleep like a baby until the bell rings. He'll be fine as long as we're back before he wakes up. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you two riot kids doing up here? I'm looking for a little device that was left on the ground. Have you seen it? <laughs> Maybe I have? What's in it for me if I tell you? I don't know. What do you want? Well, cafeteria needs some cleaning spray since you little hooligans tore it up, and the toilet paper needs replacing the boys' bathroom. We can do that. Good. Come back to me when you do. Be right back. So we need to get the cleaning spray. That should... Oh, wait. There's not a box in here. Dang it. What prize did you pick for taking your assessment today? The toilet paper. Cool. I got the spray bottle. Head down to the boys' bathroom and drop it off. Meet me back here as soon as possible. Got it. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered whether either we picked um, the toilet paper or spray. She probably would have gotten the other thing. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. He doesn't care. Hey, dude. What's up? Here's some toilet paper. Oh, yeah. I'll take care of it. Thanks, dude. You can go now. See ya. Oh, that was a nice little easy exchange. There you are. So you dropped off the toilet paper, right? Yep. Awesome. Let's go get that device from that old coop. We're gonna blow the lid off this place. Let's go. You done doing my job for me? You bet. Good. Maybe you kids aren't bad after all. Maybe I shouldn't have hit so many of you with the mop. That would have been nice. Well then, you can leave me alone now. What about the device? What the? Oh yeah, the little doodad I put in the weapons closet. It's on my cleaning cart. Baba left the door unlocked. It looks like he was tripping on something in there. You don't even have it on you? Come on, man. Deal with it, kid. I'll let the Hall kid know to let you in. Now get out of here before I change my mind about hitting kids with my mop. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, let's head down there. We're almost out of time. Okay. Yeah, we only have time to do one more thing. Whoa, it's pretty <coughs> hard to breathe in here. Once I blow a hole in the wall, it'll air out nicely. Probably snap Bob out of his little trance. That'll be good. Let's get the device and get out of here. If we stay too long, we'll end up like him. Got it. What did he say he left it? Here we go. Jerome's device is on the cart. Let's take it. <coughs> I don't know how much longer we can last in this. We've got to get the heck out of here. Got it. He's back to class before he wakes up. Good stuff, kid. Now I just need to get back to our seats and wait for the bell to ring. Okay. Don't forget to pay your lab fee. I'll see you in class today. See ya. Huh? What? Oh, must have dozed off for a moment there. Uh, right. Anyone who wants to come to science can pay your lab fee. Otherwise, go to gym. Go to science. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about robotics. That's odd. I thought it was about plants. Anyway, robotics are wonderful in the way they terrorize the tri-state area in front of... <laughs> in front of you is one of my favorite kinds of robots, the hydraulic press. Okay, if you don't know that reference, it's from Phineas and Fur, a, a great TV show. Oh man, good old Dr. Dupin smirch. Do we have any volunteers to stick their head under it? Anyone? You kids are no fun. Just go stick the spare parts together until something lights up. Okay, let's talk to Carla. It's time to break this sucker down. We need to deactivate the triggering mechanism so it doesn't blow our heads off. How do we do that? That's a good question. Maybe someone from your old school has experience dealing with this sort of thing. I'll ask around. It's gotta be Monty. Yeah? Robotics are cool and all, but none of this stuff here comes close to what I've made. Can you deactivate this? You know I can, but you also know I won't be doing it for free. How much? 20 bucks. That's so expensive. Yeah? So are my medical bills. Now put up or shut up. Is there anything else I could do? Hmm. Maybe there is something. I've seen you hanging around with Carla all day. Are you on good terms with her? I guess so. Good, good. So what do you say I drop a good word for me to her? Maybe set us up on a little date? Ooh. Monty's got a little gresh, I see. I can try. Well, you better try hard. Either you can give me the 20 bucks or you can set me on a date with her. Got it? Got it. All right. Carla, you're not going to like this, probably. Well, did you find anyone to do it? Monty will. Okay, so why isn't he doing it? He wants to be your boyfriend. Ugh, that grimy little... You know what? Fine, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, then. Well, Monty, I did this for you, all right? Now do it. Did you ask her? What did she say? She said yes. Hot diggity dog, I can't wait. We'll be a force to reckon with. So about the device? Oh yeah, this will be take just a minute. There, I disabled the listener on it, so it won't pop unless you give it a different method of exploding. Thanks, Monty. 
Let's hurry up and tell the little dweeb that I'll be his girlfriend so we can get a move on. It's done. Great. Can't wait for this date. Let's get crushing. Sounds good. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Come on, kid, hurry up. You gotta crush this thing. Get it. Get up on the pedestal and put it on the crusher. Okay, I'm trying, but it's not giving me an option to. Two hours later. Oh, here we go. Can I place something under the crusher right here? Let's place the device. Looks like the pressing this button will turn off. We'll turn on the crusher. Let's push the button. You did it. This is exactly what I need to finish the bomb. I can totally blow open that wall now. Hooray. Ah, another day of learning concluded. Please don't break anything on the way out. Leave without breaking anything. What a day. I can't believe we were able to build this thing so quickly. You want to know the cherry on top? What? I had enough parts to make two bombs. How sick is that? You can have one for yourself. Oh, wow. This uses Penny's tech. She won't recognize this contraband. I'm sure I'll be working together again real soon. Yeah, maybe. You can also have this monster my card. I'm just that impressed. Later, kid. Later. Alrighty. Carla's laser bomb. New secret robes? Hold up, hold up. I gotta try these out. I gotta try these out. Where is it? Oh yeah, look at me. Looking so cool. Let me check out the new monster my car. Oh, fake aid tornado. I remember this one. Anyone who sees this, he's compiled to say its name. Yep, I remember that good old guy. All right, so we got the Carla's laser bomb. We are so close to the end now. Just look, we have the Breaking Sad, and then the final mission. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Well guys, this has been another episode of Kindergarten 2. We found Billy and Lily. That, it just all happened so fast too. Like I didn't, like I knew they were kind of here because of Nugget, but for them to just come out and be like, oh yeah, it's us, it's just like, what? Well, I've got to rest up my voice a bit. I've been yelling too much right now. So we're going to pick this up in the next episode with the second to last mission. But we'll wait for then. So for now, this has been Kindergarten 2 and hopefully you did enjoy. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time, see ya.